Yeah, so yesterday I was at church, right? It was Sunday. I was in class listening to Sunday school and then I realized that hey, this class is going this class is not this class is not going anywhere. <laughs> so I looked at my phone for a minute and and I looked at Facebook and I scrolled down and I saw the news from Ultimate Guitar and I saw I saw that it says on the headlines, breaking news. John Flushante is coming back to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wow! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I literally, literally teared. One tear came out of my eye during church, and I was so happy. I was so happy. I couldn't contain it. But the sad thing is, I wish they just kept jo Josh in the band. You know, as a second guitarist. You know, his songs were okay. I mean, they're not as good as John's, but he's still pretty good. It would have been a great. Band, you know, that would have been like the Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, Mach 3 or 4 or something, just like Deep Purple. Josh is a great guitarist, but he's just not John. John is John is legit. John is like a master songwriter or something. I mean, Josh is okay. I mean, he can play guitar solo just as good as John, but John has this magic in him. And he's older and he, he grew up with a band. He, he's a prodigy pretty much, okay? I've been living here for what, eight years? Now I'm finally gonna be able to see them. Hey, I'll buy a ticket right away. Go to the front row. Go to the front row, wear those big grandpa old people diapers, right? And I, I just stay there and pee in my diapers. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm so excited to see them live. Yeah, the, the red hot chili peppers are back. This is awesome. So yeah, I'm really excited to uh, see John live with the band because I've been listening to this band for a good, what? 20 something years now. Heck, Under the Bridge is the first song that I learned how to sing when I was four years old. Four years old. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Are you guys excited too?